Do you have trouble peeing? Do you feel like you can't empty your bladder fully? Do you want to know how to prevent or treat your condition with natural remedies? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to reveal for foods that you should never eat if you have an enlarged prostate and why they can worsen your symptoms. I'm also going to explain what an enlarged prostate is, how it affects your urinary and sexual health, and when you should seek medical attention. But don't worry, I'm not going to leave you hungry or deprived. I'm also going to provide you with some alternatives to these foods that are better for your prostate and your overall health. You will be surprised by how delicious and satisfying these foods can be and how they can help you improve your condition and your quality of life. Hi everyone, welcome back to Dr. J. Lim's Holistic Health Corner. I'm Dr. J. Lim, an academic doctor from the University of Cambridge. I'm passionate about natural health and wellness, and I love to share my knowledge with the latest scientific research evidence with you. Now let's get started. So, what is an enlarged prostate or BPH? BPH stands for benign prostatic hyperplasia, which means a known cancerous increase in the size and number of cells that make up the prostate gland. The prostate is a small gland in men. That is part of the male reproductive system. It is located just below the bladder and surrounds part of the urethra, which is the tube that carries urine and semen out of the body. BPH is a very common condition that affects almost all men. As they get older, it is estimated that about half of men in their 50s and up to 90% of men in their 80s have some symptoms of BPH. The main cause of BPH is not clear, but it may be related to changes in hormone levels that occur. With age, BPH can cause problems with urination because it can press on the urethra and block the flow of urine. This can lead to symptoms such as difficulty starting or stopping urination, weak urine stream, frequent or urgent need to pee, peeing more often at night, feeling like you can't empty your bladder completely, or even urinary tract infections or kidney damage in severe cases. BPH is not a cancer, and it does not increase your risk of getting prostate cancer. However, some of the symptoms of BPH can also be caused by other conditions, such as prostate cancer, urinary tract infection, bladder stones, or nerve problems. That's why it's important to see your doctor. If you have any urinary symptoms that bother you or affect your quality of life, your doctor can do some tests to find out the cause of your symptoms and recommend the best treatment option for you. But what if you want to prevent or treat your enlarged prostate? with natural remedies, well, there are some foods that you should avoid or limit because they can harm your prostate and make your symptoms worse. Let me tell you what they are and why they are bad for you. The first food is meat, especially red meat and processed meat. A recent systematic review and meat analysis by or imagined it all looked at 25 studies and found that eating more processed meat and total meat can increase your risk of getting prostate cancer. Prostate cancer is a serious condition that can cause the same problems as an enlarged prostate, such as trouble peeing, weak urine flow, or feeling like you can't empty your bladder fully. Prostate cancer can also spread to other parts of your body and cause more complications. The study found that eating a lot of processed meat, such as bacon, ham, sausages, hot dogs, salami, and other cured or smoked meats, was linked to a 6% higher risk of total prostate cancer and a 17% higher risk of advanced prostate cancer. These foods are often high in salt, fat, nitrates, and other chemicals that can damage your cells and cause inflammation in your body. The study also found that eating a lot of total meat, which includes both red meat and processed meat, was slightly linked to a 4% higher risk of all types of prostate cancer. Total meat includes foods such as beef, pork, lamb, and veal. These foods are also high in fat, especially saturated fat, which can raise your cholesterol levels and increase your risk of heart disease and stroke. The study did not find a strong link between red meat alone and prostate cancer. But some other studies have suggested that red meat may increase the production of certain hormones that can stimulate the growth of the prostate gland and make it more prone to inflammation and cancer. So, if you have an enlarged prostate or BPH, you may want to limit your intake of red meat, 
and processed meat to reduce your risk of prostate cancer and improve your urinary symptoms. The American Cancer Society recommends that men eat no more than 18 ounces of cooked red meat per week. The World Health Organization advises that people eat less than 50 grams of processed meat per day. Instead of eating meat, you can try some plant-based sources of protein, such as beans, lentils, tofu, tempeh, nuts, seeds, and quinoa. These foods are rich in fiber, antioxidants, phytochemicals, and other nutrients that can benefit your prostate and overall health. You can also eat some fish and seafood that are high in omega-3 fatty acids, which I will talk about later. Hey, everyone, I hope you're enjoying this video so far. If you find this type of educational content useful, it would really help the channel if you press the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell. By doing so, you'll be the first to know when I upload new videos like this one. You'll also be supporting me and helping me grow this channel, which means a lot to me. So, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell. It's free and it only takes a second. Thank you so much for your support. Now, let's get back to the video. The second food is dairy products, such as milk, cheese, yogurt, and butter. A recent systematic review by Sarxian et al. looked at 23 studies that found that drinking more milk can increase your risk of getting prostate cancer. The study found that drinking one more glass of milk per day can increase your risk of prostate cancer by 6%, and drinking one more glass of skim milk per day can increase your risk by 9%. It doesn't matter if the milk is low-fat or whole, as they have similar effects. This is because dairy products are high in calcium, which can interfere with the absorption of zinc, a mineral that is essential for prostate health. Dairy products also contain hormones and growth factors that can stimulate the growth of prostate cells and increase the risk of prostate cancer. So, if you have an enlarged prostate or BPH, you may want to limit your intake of dairy products to reduce your risk of prostate cancer and improve your urinary symptoms. The American Cancer Society recommends that men consume no more than two to three servings of dairy products per day. A serving is equivalent to one cup of milk or yogurt, 1.5 ounces of cheese, or two tablespoons of butter. Instead of eating dairy products, you can try some plant-based alternatives, such as almond milk, soy milk, oat milk, or rice milk, which are lower in calcium and hormones. You can also use them to make smoothies, coffee, tea, or cereal. You can also eat some fermented foods, such as kimchi, sauerkraut, miso, or kombucha, which are rich in probiotics and can improve your gut health and immunity. The third food is sugar, especially added sugar. Sugar can raise your blood sugar levels and make your body less sensitive to insulin, a hormone that helps your cells use sugar for energy. This can lead to diabetes, a condition that affects your metabolism and increases your risk of BPH and LUTs. A recent study by Briar et al. looking at the current literature found that diabetes and related metabolic problems can make your prostate bigger and your urinary symptoms worse, especially as you get older. The study estimated that diabetes can increase your risk of BPH by 24%, the risk of LUTs by 28%, and the risk of moderate to severe LUTs by 34%. The study also explained how diabetes, high blood sugar, and low insulin sensitivity can affect your prostate and urinary health. These include increased nerve activity, stimulation of prostate growth by insulin and other factors, changes in hormone levels, and inflammation and oxidative stress. So, if you have an enlarged prostate or BPH, you may want to cut down on sugar to lower your risk of diabetes and improve your urinary symptoms. The American Diabetes Association recommends that men consume no more than 36 grams of added sugar per day. Added sugar includes any sugar that is not naturally occurring in foods, such as table sugar, honey, syrups, or sweeteners. Instead of eating sugar, you can try some natural sweeteners, such as stevia, monk fruit, or erythritol which have little or no impact on your blood sugar levels. You can also eat some fruits that are low in sugar and high in fiber, such as berries, apples, pears, or oranges. These fruits are rich in antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals that can benefit your prostate and overall health. 
The fourth and final food is omega-6 fatty acids, a type of fat that is found in vegetable oils and processed foods, such as margarine, chips, cookies, and pastries. These foods can cause inflammation and oxidative stress in your body, which can make your prostate bigger and more prone to cancer. A recent study by Apted al looked at the current evidence and found that the balance of omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acids in your diet can affect your risk and outcome of prostate cancer. Omega-3 fatty acids are another type of fat that is found in fish and seafood, such as salmon, tuna, sardines, and mackerel. These foods have anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer properties, which can protect your prostate from damage and disease. The study found that a lower ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acids is linked to a lower risk of prostate cancer and a slower rate of tumor growth and spread. The study suggests that a low ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acids may help delay the progression of prostate cancer. So, if you have an enlarged prostate or BPH, you may want to cut down on omega-6 fatty acids and eat more omega-3 fatty acids to lower your risk of prostate cancer and improve your urinary symptoms. The American Heart Association recommends that men consume no more than 17 grams of omega-6 fatty acids per day. The World Health Organization recommends that men consume at least 0.3 grams of omega-3 fatty acids per day. Instead of eating omega-6 fatty acids, you can try some healthy oils such as olive oil, coconut oil, or avocado oil, which are rich in monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats that can lower your cholesterol levels and improve your heart health. You can also eat some nuts and seeds, such as walnuts, almonds, flax seeds, or chia seeds, which are high in omega-3 fatty acids and fiber. Well, that's all for today, folks. I hope you have enjoyed this video and learned something new and useful about your prostate health. Remember, your prostate is a precious part of your body that deserves your care and attention. Don't let it suffer from inflammation, enlargement, or cancer by eating the wrong foods. Avoid red meat, processed meat, dairy products, sugar, and omega-6 fatty acids as much as possible. Instead, eat more fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, legumes, and omega-3 fatty acids to keep your prostate healthy and happy. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Thank you for watching and see you soon.